Hey, what is up and welcome to today's lesson where you are going to learn the number one way to guarantee that all of the important relationships in your life grow as you grow in business. I'm going to say that again because a lot of people, they think it's mutually exclusive. They think they have to just focus. They just have to grind and suffer to grow the business. And then once the business is self-sufficient, they can then focus on the relationships. And that's just an old, outdated belief. That is an old, outdated, wasteful, and it's not very efficient. It's not an efficient way to dominate in all areas of life. So today you're going to learn the number one way, the quickest way, the most effective way to really grow and deepen your relationships as you grow your business. So you get the best of both worlds. You shouldn't have to sacrifice if you do this right. And so again, that old paradigm that no, you have to just hyper-focus only on business and let your relationship suffer. And then once the, once the business is really profitable, then you circle back and try to repair all of the broken relationships. Don't do that. Don't do that. That won't work. That will not work. It'll just build resentment and you'll feel guilty and it will just be nasty. Don't do that. And so I have a question for you. If you wanted to get in shape, what would you need to do? Right? In order to get in shape, you would need to, on your calendar, somewhere, input times to exercise. Right? It doesn't matter if it was 30 minutes a day or an hour every other day or whatever. If you wanted to get in shape, if you wanted to get in shape, it's, it's a no-brainer, right? At some point during your week, you would have to decide. And the word decide means to cut off everything else. So decide means to choose one thing to the exclusion of everything else. That is a decision. And so if you wanted to get in shape, if you wanted to build the best body ever, you would have to decide that, hey, from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, I am going to the gym and doing this workout. Right? You would put on the blinders and to the exclusion of everything else, you would focus on that task. And if you did that, week after week, month after month, you would get in shape. Your muscles would change. You would get leaner. You would get stronger. Your physiology would change. Guess what? The same exact thing applies to your relationships. A lot of us, especially if we've been with our significant other for a long time, a lot of us, we treat our relationships as an afterthought. We show up. We pour into our business. We pour everything into our business. And by the time we get home, we are so burnt, we are so overly stimulated that we just want to watch TV numb and distract, right? And sometimes we'll watch TV with our significant other or we'll go to happy hour with our significant other and that's fine, you're, you're in the same space, but that just because you're in the same space with someone does not mean that your connection is getting stronger. It does not mean that that relationship is growing. So. If you wanted to get in shape, you would look at your calendar and you would, you would create time. You would make that time sacred because you would devote that time to your fitness journey. Well, guess what? It's the same exact thing when it comes to relationships. You cannot save your relationship time for just what you have left over. Again, think about if you did that with your fitness or your business. You literally focused somewhere else all day long and at the end of the day, whatever was left, if there was anything left, you would give it to your business, you would give it to your body. Your business and your body would look like shit because more often than not, what we save for later, eh, I'll get to it if I can, that stuff typically doesn't get done. And so for your relationship, do you have non-negotiable time, just like you would for that workout, non-negotiable time that you will devote to legitimate, open-hearted, truthful connection? That is what builds any relationship. Do not overcomplicate it. Truthful communication, safe, neutral space to just share what's on your heart and give the other person the opportunity to share what's on their heart without any judgment or attack. That is what builds any relationship. And a little goes a long way. It doesn't matter if you want to uh, improve a relationship with a parent or a friend or a sibling or again, a loved one, a significant other. Having distraction-free time where the only intention is to have open-hearted communication where you get to share what is true for you and then you get to, with only compassion, with no judgment, with no attack, with no agenda, you get to hear what's true for them. And it just creates this dialogue. That is what strengthens any relationship. And so if you want to strengthen your relationships as you grow your business, as you master yourself, as you get in shape, as you lead others, build a team, make money, change the world, all you have to do is look at your calendar 
And on that calendar, at least once a week, just start with once a week, maybe once during the week and once during the weekend. Plan, decide, remember decide means to choose one thing to the exclusion of everything else. Decide for 30 minutes to have open-hearted communication time with that person. No phones, no distractions, just 30 minutes of open-hearted communication. And for a lot of guys, it's uncomfortable at first because we're always used to um, talking with our guard up. We're used to having conversations that always have an agenda, especially in business, right? Business is very transactional. We always have agendas. That will not apply to your relationship. Have an open-hearted, truthful dialogue where the only intention is to be heard and hear them. That is it. And you do this for 30 minutes a week and 30 minutes a week, and that's 60 minutes throughout the entire week, and this will enrich your relationships incredibly quickly. And now here's where it pours into business. Because here's the deal. When you show up all day and you pour into your business and you grind, and by the time you get home, you are empty and you are feeling drained, you aren't very emotionally or energetically available for your partner. And guess what? That's gonna build resentment. They're gonna either say something to you and start a fight or you're just gonna feel guilty and beat yourself up for it. And guess what? That carries over into how you show up the next day for your business, how you show up the next day for your prospects, how you show up the next day for your clients, how you show up the next day for your team. And it keeps going and keeps going. So it actually is taking away from your ability to grow your business. Isn't that funny? All the sacrifices you're making for your business are draining your relationships and because your relationships are draining you more, you show up even more drained for your business. And so when you are feeling fueled by your relationships, by your friendships, your romantic relationships, your family relationships, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, when you show up to lead in business, you will be full. You will have more to give, more energy, more courage, more charisma to share with your prospects, your clients, and your team. So again, growing your relationship actually enhances, it actually enhances how you show up for business. And again, I'm only talking about taking 30 minutes during the week and 30 minutes during the weekend to do this. So it's not a, a 10 hour project, it's a 30 minute project twice a week. You can do that. And again, it will move the bottom line forward. It will move the needle forward. Your relationships matter because those are the things that fill you up. When you pour into your business, but you don't have anything that fuels you back up, you lose in the long run. You cannot sustain that. So enhance your relationships, strengthen your relationships, and approach them in a way that allows you to get filled back up by them so that when it's time to pour back into business, you have a full tank and you can get things done. So this one thing I've seen in our clients, I've seen this change relationships drastically. We have one of our clients, his name's Wilbur in Wake Up Wealthy, and he's married, he's got four kids under the age of four, right? And he runs a, um, he runs a rehab clinic, so he helps men get off drugs, right? So he has a lot of demands in his life. Plus the dude trains like crazy, he's, he's in great shape, he's a dad, he's a husband, and he was really feeling the strain on his relationships because he's you know working on himself, working out, meditating, doing personal development, running the business, leading a team, and he's like, dude, I don't know I feel like I'm dropping the ball with my relationship. What do I need to do? Do I need to go to a relationship counselor? Do I need to do this, this? And I was like, dude, have you set a time, 30 minutes a week to just let her hear you and then let you hear her? He goes, what do you mean? Is it that simple? I said, just try it. Don't judge something by how complicated it is. Judge it by whether it works or not. And in three weeks, he's like, dude, it, our relationship has never been better. Even before we had kids, this is the best it's been. So again, this small shift will help you dominate in business and nurture and grow your relationships, which then will fill you up so you can dominate more in business. So give it a try. And uh, if you like these videos, these lessons, like and subscribe to the channel. We're launching new videos every single week, new trainings every single week. And we also have more high level trainings at wakeupwealthy.com. If you want some more free trainings, meditations, mindset, business coaching, it's all there, all for you. So take this, use it, and I'll see you in the next lesson.